Thanks for having me, dude. Great to be well, with you. Well, we leave it a time when maybe you and I ought to reconsider these beards because you have children now in American public schools, and this is utterly predictable. If you're going to let kids pretend to be <clears throat> whatever gender they say they are, if you're going to let them to uh, engage in this kind of denial of biological reality, why not allow them to become identifying as furries? Tell us what a furry is, Alex. <laughs> yeah, you, you almost feel ridiculous talking about it, Duke, but there are now hundreds of thousands of kids all across this country in government schools. I mean, brainwashed zombies. I feel so bad for them that are identifying as uh, they call themselves furries. They, they might be identifying as a dog or a cat or a kangaroo. And so they, they come to school wearing tails. They, they come to school, you know, painting whiskers on themselves. They put little uh, fake ears on. And, uh, and and like literally the ones that identify as cats, they, they'll meow at people. Uh, the, the ones that identify as dogs will bark at people. They'll growl at people. In some cases, we've got reports of uh, children biting other students as if they were dogs. And, um, you know, this this whole point of this, is there any, you know, off ramp where we can kind of de-escalate this situation? And honestly, I don't know. I don't know how crazy this gets before people finally come to their senses. Why can't some clever kid identify as a teacher and then change his own grades? I mean, or enter or his identify own as a principal, a, a principal. And start, you know, firing everybody. And... Or why can't I identify as a Social Security receiving senior citizen and start getting paid? Why is that not possible? It is possible. Using the logic of, of these people, there's absolutely no reason why you should not be able to do that. Hey, I, sh I should be able to identify as the president of the United States. You better let me into that White House. You don't want to discriminate against me based on my perceived identity. It'd be interesting to see you to identify as the president of the United States. You'd have to immediately start falling asleep, and we wouldn't <laughs> want that to happen. But yeah, so Maybe she is a regular dog, just different from all the other dogs in that she's a biological human. But if she identifies as a dog, she is a dog. This is what we've learned. I mean, let's be real about this. Biology is merely what your chromosomes say you are, but what you are inside is what counts. I mean, not the human biology that's inside your actual body. I mean, what, what you are in your own head is what counts. These are people who are dressed up as dogs in public for real. The Chicago Tribune, 19 people were hospitalized at a furry convention in Il Illinois after what's being called an intentional lake of chlorine What's gas. a furry convention? Did I get that wrong? Oh, gosh. Okay. Officials were called when I yeah. strong odor of chlorine what? <laughs> Spread? <laughs> I think they had to evacuate the building and everything. It's based on a series of intense memories. When I was little, I had a lot of smaller memories, usually of laying on a tree branch or sitting on a rock and looking out across the savanna. And this was before I even knew what the savanna was, before I'd even seen a photograph or a video. Externally, I am a human being. I have these hands and this body, but internally, I am a leopard. I have the mannerisms and the behaviors, the thoughts and the memories of an African leopard. I am Naya Okami. You may know me from the meme. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. When I first like realized that I was other kin and Therian, I joined a website for it called Wearlist. I wasn't exactly welcomed. I was actually bullied. I was 12 years old. I didn't really understand. Good day for America. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a little horse. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a little horse. Good day for America. <coughs> Excuse me.